When making bread from scratch, a recipe calls for three-fifths of a cup of water. If you need to make a smaller portion of the recipe, how much water would you need to make only one-sixth of the recipe? So to answer this question, we need to answer the simpler question, what is one-sixth of three-fifths? So this question will give us the answer that we're looking for. And because of means multiplication, we need to find the product of one-sixth and three-fifths. To multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. In the numerator, we would have one times three. In the denominator, we'd have six times five. But before we find these products, it's best to simplify out the common factors other than one between the numerator and denominator. So notice how there would be a common factor between three and six. If we want to show the common factor, we can write six as two times three, and let's go ahead and do that. We'd have one times three in the numerator, and we can write the denominator as two times three times five. So we can see the common factor of three. Three over three equals three divided by three, or three thirds, which equals one. So three over three simplifies to one over one. Now we can multiply and know the product will be simplified or in lowest terms. So the numerator would be one times one, which is one. The denominator is two times five, which equals 10. I do want to mention that sometimes you'll see the simplifying work shown a little bit differently. If we go back to the original product just for a moment and we have one sixth times three fifths, if we recognize that three and six share a common factor of three, and there's one three and three and two threes and six. We could show the simplifying here where the three simplifies to one and the six simplifies to two. Showing the work like this does save a little bit of time if we can determine the common factors. The benefit of using the prime factorization is that we actually see the common factors. But either way it works. Notice here in the numerator we'd have one times one which is one and the number would be two times five which equals ten. So either method does work. We now know that one-sixth of the recipe calls for one-tenth of a cup of water. I hope you found this helpful.